Outback Motor Speedway for the North South Showdown, and uh, that one was named right. Come down with uh, maybe just a couple car lengths between uh, who was going to win this. But uh, first off, we got to thank uh, Jim Stazowski from uh, Locomotives uh, Shopping Mall Trains. Uh, he come on last year, come on this year. He's going to sponsor two races. This is the first of the two races he's going to sponsor, and uh, can't thank him enough. But uh, I don't know what to say to you. You. Uh, couldn't find nothing, no speed. Now all of a sudden last week you ran good and picked up your first win, which has been for a long time, long time coming. Brent Hoddle. Yeah, I, I tell you what, this drought was getting uh, terrible. I'm glad I finally figured out how to get back up here. I tell you, uh, whew, my nerves are still shaking. I, we got down there and I knew you know, my ro lane rotation was going to lead me up at the top, but I've won races on eight before, from finishing on eight before, and so I knew in my mind I could do it, but man, I tell you what, I, it, it's tough. I mean, it is unbelievably tough, and I know uh, Alan and a couple of them had some some wrecks, and I had some had a fairly clean race. I wasn't in many, and it's just, I know that helped a lot, um, but you know, when we come up for that last rotation, and I looked over, and I, I saw Jimmy down there. I think he was like on three, and I went, oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm a sitting duck, you know, at uh, they come up. I looked up. I thought he was going to get me. We had that last caution, and the rest of the race was over. I was, hey, you don't believe a sigh of relief. I, this is uh, it'll set in tomorrow. I think. I tell you what, it's been too long getting back up here to Victory Lane. Yeah, and we've said it before, and it's happened a couple times this year. This race is so tough. It was hard to ever uh, get up enough to survive when you're out in the lanes. And this is about the third race that we've had somebody chasing them, and they've held them off. But uh, you're, you're right, he was coming, but hey, you know, uh, the race was over and you ended up being in the lead, so if, but, maybe, but, uh, you know, I know you got to be happy we're going into the dream and you've uh, picked up the best two races in a row that you've had for a long time. Absolutely, yeah, I told myself last week, you know, you never know when a fluke can happen, because uh, I run third once this year and then I just went terrible again, you know, after that, but we run second last week, had a really good car, I felt like my car was better last week than it was this week, so I made one little change to set up and I think I might have slowed me down so I'm going to kind of reset for the dream but yeah it gives me some good momentum to run second and win to go into the dream that's that's good I think I've run second in that dream two times already I I want to get up here and stand here next week too <laughs> but I'm just glad to finally it's been uh, well over a year since I made it back up here to Victory Lane plus this will be the uh, first time I've got to stand up here with my own uh, wrenching my own car for a long time I have had uh, good crew chiefs between Joe Schiff and John O'Donnell for a couple of years but I'm on my own program and finally starting to can't catch back up and figure things out but uh, I can't take it to say enough for you know the competition here is just unbelievable um, you know it was a great run by Jimmy and, and Al and them guys I mean it's just it, it is just nail biting like I said the nerves just gets to you but uh, I want to thank Jim with uh, locomotives for sponsoring this race and I know he's gonna be sponsoring the, the uh, world um, you know, it's, he's a big race fan. And oh, yeah. it sponsors like that to helps us get these things going. And luckily, I know him personally, and uh, I'm proud to to win this race. I, this is one I haven't won, and uh, win it for somebody that I know. That's pretty neat too. So just glad to be standing here. <laughs> All right, well we keep messing with the track. I'm still trying to decide what we're going to do with the dream, but. Uh, Came in a little bit quicker, I think. Then it kind of fell off again. But uh, how tight was it? Um, you know, it was. It got snug. Um, I, I loosened my car up, and I, I think I might have loosened up just a little too much. I was a little, little free in this feature, uh, really getting in, but I wasn't bad coming off. The, the track, you know, you got us scratching our heads every week. You know, something different every week. I, I was a little free getting it in, wasn't bad off tonight, but I loosened my car up a lot because here we go again. This was, I guess, my night because I haven't won a heat race all year either, and I, I got into the heat race, and I sat over there, and a couple of them was laughing, so I was in deep thought. I was over there going through my tires trying to figure out what I was going to do, but, uh, I, you know, the track I think it, it, it got tight was it super tight I've seen it a whole lot tighter before but uh, I mean I don't think this the surface was bad I mean you, you look at down and see the racing that that track put on tonight for that feature it, it was a good one I tell you what this non qualifier is going to come up I think it's going to be a good one too Oh, yeah, I'm not worried about the racing. We got good racing. I'm just worried about it. we got a whole lot more racing to do on this two-day show coming up. So I'll put my thinking cap on. But again, congratulations and uh, good momentum into the dream. Absolutely. Thank you.
back at Dalback Motor Speedway, Locomotive's North South Showdown, and uh, I don't know what to say to you. You're still running good, but I'll be honest with you. Jimmy McFarland finishing second. Uh, many wrecks as you had at the beginning. It really surprised me you made that run and only came up with uh, about two, what, two, three car lengths short. Yeah, it was real close. You know, just just too many wrecks. You collected, collected, collected. But it's out of your hands. You know, you try to drive a clean race and keep your car in, but you just can't, you know, wrecks, wrecks, wrecks. And one less, less wreck than I would have won. But I'm glad to see Brent win. He's been struggling real, real hard. And it's just good to see him win, get back up on top. He's, he'll be sleeping good tonight and feeling better going into the big race next week, but I'm glad to see him win. Yeah, well, uh, you, you definitely was right. I was beginning to wonder what was going on with you guys. Usually on the start these eight mains, you all just go, 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 hardly no wrecks. In the first two segments, it seemed like it was really a struggle out there. But then we got going, and then they started running quite a few segments straight through, so then the thing actually got going. So I think that's maybe where you luckily was on the better lanes to make your time, that it maybe didn't hurt you when you was out on them outside lanes as bad. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I got going. I knew I was going to get better. Uh, just bided my time. Those guys were going out and I was coming in, but just came up a little short. This is all it is. <laughs> all right, well, uh, I asked him, uh, you know, I'm really thinking what we're going to do to the dream to the track, how much to loosen it up, how much it's going to come in with all the laps on it. Uh, this thing seemed like it took rubber down and started getting tight, but then it did the same thing again. It seems like it only take it to a certain point, and then it won't take it no more. So do you think it was tight, or what would you think? No, nah, I don't think it was. Uh, I had our cars ready to go for it and um, had a little strategy and we weren't good at the beginning of the night. We both went into the B, me and Trevor, and got into the A and I knew my car was going to be good. Um, he made some changes to his and it was the wrong way to go. And uh, But track's not going to get any tighter than it is for some reason, whatever whatever's getting done to it, it's not going to get sticky black like it used to. But uh, it's real racy, you know. I don't think it was the track that was causing the wrecks. I don't think it was, but it's, it's good, fast racing right there. All right, man. Well, you know, you've got to be feeling good. You've been fast all year. You've only got one win so far this year, but you've got I don't know how many seconds now. You've been in the top three all the time, so you got to be feeling good. You're stroking good going into this dream. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I feel confident going in next week. Um, I don't know. I, it's a long, long weekend. You got to survive all the, all the wrecks, you know, and that's all it comes down to one wreck, and I would have won the race. That's it. That's all it comes down to. Well, you know, I ain't gonna reiterate how tough it is here. You know, it ain't no more like it was of, you know, somebody getting out and winning by, and we're gonna try something new. We're gonna do three segments in the dream, so not gonna be no more two. It's gonna be actually three rotations around there. So we'll see how that works out. And uh, anyhow, congratulations, and we'll. Uh, Catch you next week. Thank you, man. I'd like to thank Locomotives and Denny and uh, Deb and Tabby and you. Um, it's chaos in here. I don't know how y'all keep up, but we appreciate it. <laughs> All right, man. We appreciate it. Thank you. Back to Outback Motor Speedway, Locomotives, uh, North South Showdown. And again, I told him, I said it was a showdown, no doubt about that. Alan Saggy with uh, third place here. And we used to tease him about this hat he's wearing, but I'm not going to tease him tonight. We'll just go ahead and talk to him. The heck, I wore it so you could tease me. You know, you didn't, you didn't say anything about it the other time. I wore it about a month ago. And you were on me this thing that you found a picture of me wearing it in Victory Lane at Hagerstown Speedway in 1992. And you were kidding me. And I told you, I think I still have that hat at home. So I found the son of a gun and I wore it there one week and you didn't say a word. I thought I'm going to wear it again so you can ride me a little bit. <laughs> Well, hey, you just like Batman. It don't go away. You you know, you keep on hanging in here. You, you're you running good. you got to be feeling good going into the dream, too. I mean, this, this thing right now, I don't see anybody that's dominant no more. No, they're, everybody's got a shot next week. At, uh, a lot of guys are, you know, you just need the race to go the way you need it. 
Um, we got off to a good start there in that race on lane eight and I had a real good start, a good clean run, and then things kind of, <laughs> I got collected a few times down the middle lanes and, and that cost us. But, you know, it's just one of those things I always did say you got to be a little good and a little lucky to win these races here. And we were a little short in the luck tonight, but uh, congratulations to Brent. He's been digging hard, trying to win one. He deserves to win one. And uh, there again, another close finish. I think he only beat Jimmy by a couple car lengths. So <laughs> <laughs> something else, I'll tell you. Yeah, I was telling him, what, what do you think about the track? I'm thinking, what do we do with the, for the dream? It's going to be a lot of laps. But it seems like this thing takes rubber to a point, And then it really don't take any more. So I'm, you know, that, so I don't want to get it too loose to mess up the early qualifying and things. So i got to put my thinking cap on. But what, what do you think of it? I think we'll just let you handle that. You do a pretty good job at that. We'll drive the race cars, and you take care of the track. What do you think? All right, man. Well, congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. We'll see you next week. And got to thank my car owner, Joe Shifflett, again. He always does a good job for me, gives me a nice race car to drive, and, you know, I do appreciate it. All right, man. Thank you.